Hello, 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 people of the internet. Ian Ultra, the Freedom Astrologer, once again here. And doing another video, and this time I kind of switch it up a little bit. Um, I've been doing, you know, these mini uh, lessons, how to read a birth chart on my channel. So if you're kind of new beginner, don't know really uh, much about astrology, would like to know more, then please go and look at those more beginner videos. Um, Although in this, uh, let's say, astrological anal analysis, we won't go very deeply into hard configurations or, you know, any kind of special things. I'm going to just, um, let's say, go into a topic that is more associated with fixed signs and it's very much associated especially with the sign Leo. And you can see, you know, those of you who have, um, you know, seen more charts and no charts, you can see I pulled up a chart, of, uh, kind of like an example chart of, of Leo here. And we also have the ascendant in Leo and we have the sun in Leo and the ascendant and the sun are conjunct in Leo as well. And uh, th for those of you who don't know, fixed signs is also Taurus and... Uh, Scorpio. Yeah, did I? Yeah, Scorpio. <laughs> Sorry, it's a bit late here, but um, just because, you know, Scorpio and Virgo are quite similar in their um, symbols. But let's focus on a little bit at first on what this pattern is and how to step out, how to start realizing it and how, it, how easy it is actually to go into it. This pattern is... I know best. Now, if you have, you know, let's say personally, if you have some Leo energy in your chart or, you know, some, you know, some sort of um, more, more indicators in, in the sign of Leo, then you probably at least at the very least, <laughs> guys, be honest, you have at least some time in your life thought that I know best, I'm the best and I know the best. Now, this is a very common thing and a very common theme with Leo, I would say. And let's go maybe a little bit into why it's, you know, Leo, lion, you know, this is the, the king in nature, you know, the king, king, king of the animals, so to speak. And the sign of Leo is also very kingly. It's, it's, you know, I am the best at basically everything. I'm the most amazing of them all. I'm the fairest of them all. I am the best. This is, if, if I could attach a motto to uh, the Leo sign, this is it. I am the best. And if it is, I am the best, it's, it's very often I know the best and I alone know the best. Now, obviously, this isn't always only to do with Leo. It can be other signs and other configurations. But very often, the most common one, I would say, is where there's a lot of um, Leo energy, a lot of fixed energy. Fixed energy is, is a strange one because... Whenever we, as humans now, let's bring bring it back to the human part. Whenever we, as humans, you know, learn something, maybe we discover something, you know, amazing, something great that we can use in the real world. Maybe that some other people don't know. It's kind of like uh, pretty brand new knowledge and, and pretty unique knowledge. So when a fixed sign usually does that, it, it's, it's like... Um, it's like the, the attachment to that knowledge or wisdom to basically when a fixed sign attaches to anything, it's, it's almost like they hold on to it very tightly, very strongly. This is it. This is, you know, there's nothing else here. You know, even if we test it out, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's almost like I know best. And again, this is where for me, when I, where I've observed with the fixed signs where this very often comes in is, is the I know best uh, part comes in. Um, now, 
when we know a little bit of that those astrological configurations we can you know astrology what astrology usually does is, is gives us the indication that me we might be more inclined to go towards that pattern that that's it for me at least mostly uh, with these kind of like psychological or, or subconscious patterns is we're we're more inclined to go especially when you have the leo and a lot of leo energy in your chart then you're more inclined to going towards that i know best i am the best now <clears throat> i would say it's it's more easy to drift again into that pattern when you have those what i just mentioned leo and fixed signs um it's almost it's almost like especially with leah it's almost like it's very it's it's a given that i'm the best and i know the best now this is where where being aware and acknowledging that pattern starts to become really important because when you start to kind of observe okay so i learned something i i kind of start to use it in the real world i see it works you know and now i think i'm the best and i know the best as well because you know i discovered this and i made it into something and it works and you know i'm pretty amazing but you know life is always changing life is always um evolving and, and all even astrology is always evolving and society is always evolving so you know fixed signs leo is also a fixed sign fixed signs and leo really don't you know like that because it's a fixed it likes to keep a hold of what is you know there and what they've studied and what they've created and what they've made and the knowledge they've accumulated so they they hold on to it more so it's harder to let go easier to drift into i know best but now you know when when hopefully in, in the, this video will help you kind of understand this as well like if i start to see it if i start to see the pattern of i know best then i start can start to step out of it do i really know the best all the time you know asking these kinds of questions really this is very i think important to to see is start looking at situations let's say things you've learned for example i think this is one of the best examples you know maybe even something in astrology something that you've learned that you always think is always have thought is true but now you know maybe some type of knowledge from the outside comes in and says yeah maybe that's not so true at all now the first thing usually a leo here does is they go into yeah i don't care i you know ignore i i know best you know <laughs> basically this is where this is where the leo goes into but actually this is now the, the other side of leo should be also let's say the more open the more we can say the more positive side of Leo, maybe even, um, is the heart. So Leo rules the heart and the heart chakra. And when a Leo is a person who has a lot of Leo energy in their chart is living to their fullest, I would say, they're all they're always living with an open heart. And it's kind of like it, it doesn't mean that their boundaries are over or kind of like overthrown and and overstepped or something like that it doesn't mean that it rather means that they they are instead of like i'm the best only they kind of open their hearts and minds i would say as well with with the heart the minds usually open and start to kind of um look at the world look at things look at other people look at other information from more open perspective and i think this is where the leo is is um is better at and they feel better themselves as well um important to here realize that um lost my track of thought train of thought and just take take a break mm. <clears throat> important to realize that very often you know leo does have good ideas and good knowledge and good wisdom and they, they are 
in a lot of ways, you know, very good at things or the best at something. But it doesn't mean, again, closing yourself or closing the heart to other perspectives, other knowledges, other other types of wisdom that is coming your way. And who knows, you know, a lot of, because I personally do have a lot of Leo energy in my chart. So I know the fact where it's it's like very easy to close yourself off and close myself off with these walls of I know best and I'm not taking in any information but every time I've opened you know this heart and kind of shared openly of of the things I I do enjoy like but also taken in other people's perspectives ideas it has opened you know new doors new perspective new kind of ways of seeing things and I've, I've taken that on as kind of like a um, um, way to kind of uh, test, to start testing out. Because, you know, people can say a lot of things, you know, from the outside in. It doesn't mean that all, all of their perspectives are always the best or, or you know, useful. But at, at least, you know, some of those can be pretty good, you know, very often. And at the very least, that Leo openness, that Leo kind of expand, expanded heart can at least take it in, you know, test it out to see and kind of feel into what that information is about. And I think this is very important, especially in, in these, you know, coming days, coming years where there's so much information everybody is saying like i know this this is what is happening for sure you know you should get to do this you should take this and furthermore even even people are you know becoming you know mean towards each other like shaming each other saying that you shouldn't you should do this and if you're not doing this then you're doing bad things for the society and stuff like that so especially during these times it's important to kind of open that heart a little bit, um, open that mind a little bit. It doesn't mean accepting everything everybody else does or says. What I mean by this is not putting that judgment towards the other, even if they are putting those judgments towards you. Understanding that, you know, we don't always know the best you know even if you are a leo and you have these amazing ideas and in, in, in knowledge and wisdom that you have accumulated but it's it's an important time i think for us to explore with an open heart it does sound a bit cheesy i'm not me <laughs> wanting to be super cheesy but exploring things with an open heart as possible uh, being open to the fact that we might not know everything everything that's been told to us might not be the entirety of the truth but also keeping a balance between you know i know best allowing other perspectives in making better decisions with this kind of mixture of, of everything because one of the what one of the biggest reasons I'm talking about this subject is once <clears throat> you go into that space or once a person goes into that space of I know best, this is almost like closing those walls around yourself. So nothing comes in. So it's also not only closing those kind of from a mental perspective, it's, it's more like an energetic perspective as well, because you're closing yourself up, off and you're isolating yourself within some sort of, you know, ego bubble, basically, where you know best. And this is one of the thing, one of the biggest reasons, actually, I wanted to share this kind of pattern, this kind of understanding that I have with, with it, and to, to kind of um, share how I've because when this kind of all all the all of this started i went a lot into that i know best i know this is happening da, 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 da. and i started seeing taking steps back really really understanding that this might not be as i thought and i i, I started allowing these and i started exploring more I started asking questions more 
new things started revealing and i kind of you know because the, the, these walls are can be isolated i know best so it's important for us to i i don't think it's it's any time it's not good to kind of isolate yourself totally away from everything you know at times taking time away from everything is good but if you isolate yourself totally away from it especially as a leo you know with other signs as a human being it's it's not good for your heart emotionally in a lot of ways so guys keep an open heart keep an open mind ask questions know that you don't always know best even if you are a strong leo <laughs> and i uh, hope this video helps hope this video makes you understand and, and maybe less rigid with those um walls around you thank you very good thank you very much guys for listening watching you know also heard the freedom of soldier um out for now and see you again in the next video